on, y'all? This is boy K. Welcome to another video. I uh, just got through watching uh, <clears throat> Monday Night Football. The Pittsburgh Steelers get their first win of the year, knocking off the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home. Excuse me, in Tampa. I'm sorry, thirty to twenty-seven. Tail two halves basically. Uh, Steelers dominated the first half, and the Tampa Bay Bucks made the game in the second half. Um, a lot of a uh, 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 big passing duel between Roethlisberger and Fitzpatrick coming into this game. Uh, you expected that, and that's what you got. A minimal, minimal running until the very end when Pittsburgh put it, put the game uh, put the game away. But you know, <clears throat> like I said, overall just a tail two halves. First half dominated by Pittsburgh. Uh, Roethlisberger did most of his damage in the first half. Had 273 passing yards. Uh, Vance McDonald was huge, and uh, McDonald uh, Mc McDonald's the backup tight end to uh, Jesse James, and he had a, he had a really big game for them tonight. He had four catches, but he had 112, 112 receiving yards, and of course that that <clears throat> big touchdown where he uh, just sat Chris Conte. I don't know how you say his name, Chris Conte, whatever, on his ass with that with that big stiff arm. The, Kind of like a beast mode when he when he threw off uh, what's the name? He threw Conti on his ass and he went to the end zone. Like that was, that was huge, a huge game for uh, McDonald, the the uh, backup uh, tight end man. That was that, that 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 was awesome. Of course, you know Steelers were coming in with issues. Of course, you you know the Le'Veon Bell situation, but the Antonio Brown situation. You know the the uh, he's been dealing with injuries. <clears throat> since started <clears throat> since the start of uh training camp, and then of course he had a little spat with his uh offensive coordinator on the sideline during the Chiefs game last week, and he didn't show up for work on uh Monday. You know, a bunch of hoopla about that. He said he was going to. They, 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 I guess they, I guess he said he informed them they weren't going to. They wasn't going to be there, but he had a, another issue. But they, but Mike Thomas still kind of punished him or whatever. We don't know what that punishment is, but. <laughs> Hey, but hey, but he bounced back huge. He had six catches, fifty yards, and a touchdown in the game. So again, in the first half, uh, Juju led all. Juju led all uh, receivers with a uh, Pittsburgh receivers with nine touch, nine catches, one hundred sixteen yards. But yeah, this is a dominant first half from the Steelers. Uh, what was it? The score was like twenty three to seven. Uh, on the other side for Tampa Bay, uh, in the first half at least, Fitzpatrick. I mean, it looked like the magic had gone. Three first half interceptions. One, uh, a horrible decision to throw it um, from the well. They were pinned deep. They were thrown from the two yard line. He overthrew his uh, running back. I think Jaquez Rogers and uh, Bud Dupree picks it off, and he takes it for a pick six at the two-yard line. I mean, but he bounced back in the second half. He, again, he showed he had that had had a little fist magic and, and still left in his repertoire. Uh, had two big touchdowns in the, first, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the second half to bring him within three. But, uh, again, a uh, good, tough running by the uh, Steelers at the end. James Conner, I mean, coming in for Le'Veon Bell, I mean – He's not Le'Veon Bell, but I mean, he's gotten the job done. I mean, for the most part, again, the game against Kansas City, he wasn't really that effective. But in the game against uh, Pittsburgh, excuse me, not not Pittsburgh, the game against Cleveland, in the tie, he was really good. And then tonight, he really finished well. And that was especially in that last drive, uh, he only had 61 yards on the ground, but uh, three big runs to help seal the victory. For the Steelers on that last drive, getting well, I think it was like three first downs to 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 to, 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 to ice the game, put the game on ice. I mean, if I'm the Steelers, man, I mean, I mean, Le'Veon's doing his thing, man. He's on jet skis in Miami. He's uh, promoting his new EP. You know, hey, I mean, James Conner's performing. Hey, man, I mean, it's next man up. The uh, the. Uh, front office is listening to uh, trade offers for Le'Veon Bell. He's free agent. He's on a franchise tag. He's giving up was it eight hundred thousand in game game check, eight hundred thousand plus in game checks, and all that. I'm, all I'm saying is, if you don't want to be there, you don't want to be there. So I mean, you know, of course, a lot of it had to do with 
uh, his, the, probably the way his teammates came out and kind of, you know, bashed him. Like every everybody, the offensive line, even Big Ben uh, uh, took a shot, took shots at him, you know, before that first game. But, you know, uh, it is what it is. I mean, you know, shelf life is uh, not long for a running back. Uh, what is it, like shelf life is like three years. And, you know, you, 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 from what I hear but from a lot of people is, is, you know, you probably don't need to pay him because, you know, uh, he might not fulfill the money. The, the, he might not he might not live up to the money that he that he wants. There's no question Le'Veon Bell is the best running back in the league. I mean, bar none. Well, Todd Gurley is giving him a run for his money right now, but it was a couple years ago where Le'Veon was the end-all, be-all. But right now, I'll still take Le'Veon Bell over uh, – Gurley right now because you can line up Bell at, uh, uh, as a receiver and he can be a huge threat. I mean, you can you can Gurley can catch passes out of the backfield, but can he line up at slot? Can he line up at wide out and be effective? I mean, that that remains to be seen. I mean, didn't really expect the uh, still was to be three uh, one one and one <laughs> uh, uh, with the first three games of the year. Obviously, the talent level. Even without Le'Veon Bell, you thought they would still be three and zero. They've really struggled defensively in the first three games. I mean, Roethlisberger's been big time. He's like uh, he's got the fifth most passing yards in a team's first three games of the year. I mean, man, Big Ben's been slanging it. You know, could this be his last year? You know, we've been saying that for about two, two, three years now. Big Ben, so he rarely practices. You know. Just saving all his energy for game day, so I mean, but he's still getting it done at a high level. I mean, again, great receiving core. Uh, Antonio Brown, uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, and then Jesse James, and now Vance McDonald stepping up big time. Stills are still, you know, one of the top tier uh, teams in the AFC, along with uh, New England. But you know, New, Eng- New England's lost yesterday. The way the Chiefs have started. Uh, I'm trying to think of another team uh, in the AFC right now. I think the Broncos are three and zero. No, did they win yesterday? I forget. But I'll, I'll, I want to do. I want to do a video on that. I might do that video on that tomorrow. The state of the AFC as of right now. But uh, quick, quick on quickly on uh, Tampa Bay again. Fitzpatrick throw those up for over 400 yards again. For the third straight game, first quarterback, I think they said first quarterback ever to throw for 400 yards in the team's first three games. I mean, again, he had three picks in the first half, but he had a big second half again. Uh, those two touchdown passes to, to to lead him to the comeback. Of course, the comeback ultimately comes up short. Uh, Jameis Winston, his, uh, the suspension is over uh, as of, I guess, 12 o'clock, which is about – well, it always already is twelve o'clock on the East Coast, but here on the Central Time, here in Kansas, Missouri, it's like eleven fourteen. So forty five minutes left, <laughs> at least Central Time of uh, uh, James Winston's suspension. Of course, he got suspended. What was it personal conduct policy? Groping a Uber driver who's now uh, filing a lawsuit. We'll see how that goes. But uh, it's Fitzpatrick's job right now. I mean. I mean, like I said, uh, that's record-breaking performance, literal literal record-breaking performance. I mean, you know, first guy ever to throw for 400 yards in each of the first three games. He's done nothing, in my opinion, to lose the job. So, you know, uh, uh, I mean, you know, he, 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 he's shown why he's been a reliable quarterback in this league, but it's like uh, Jason Witten was saying on the Monday Night Football uh, broadcast with those three interceptions in the first half. He, he, he's shown why he's a journeyman. He's he's shown why he's a, he's on his seventh team in I forgot how many years he's been in, in been, been in the league, but he's shown why he's on a seventh team because you know, uh, I mean, he's Fitzpatrick and he's got this magic, but he can also be Fitz Fitz tragic. Last thing I want to get to, we'll get, this is uh, my fantasy moment, <laughs> fantasy part of the video. Uh, I got, I got, I got the win in both of my leagues yesterday. Um, 
I was gonna say I got I got I got the I got I got the win. I, I, I basically won yesterday because I because I was leading and I had a one player each in this game. Uh, I had one player in each league in in this game tonight, and uh, obviously both were the leading receivers in the game. Juju Smith Schuster again, nine catches, hundred sixteen yards. I mean, <laughs> I just ran away with that game. And then in my other league, I had Mike Evans. He had the six catches, 137 yards, and that big touchdown to pull him within three. Man, my fantasy team looking real good right now, especially when you got Patrick Mahomes as one of your quarterbacks. Ah. But I'm going to wrap up this video right here, man. Appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you next time.